the difference in temperature between Egypt and Austria was clearly visible. The outdoor time has been, for obvious reasons, reduced to the minimum again. Anyway, a lot of work was waiting back in Vienna. Yuri Rodionov was in his last practice week before starting with tournaments. In general, I'm happy with the picture he's presenting now. He feels comfortable on the court, is working good with the positions and is able to play with the ball, meaning working good with different situations and being creative, which fits to his game style. Unfortunately, we had two small interruptions, one time with some stomach problems, the other time with a minor knee issue. But altogether, he had the sessions he needed. One thing is making the improvements in practice. The other part is the transfer to the match. My hope and assessment is focused on the further implementation into matches. Should it work from the beginning? Perfect. If more time needed, it is acceptable as well, as long as Yuri stays on the road he decided to go. There will be challenges coming ahead. So we try to go step by step. Sebastian Sorga finished his fitness block and slowly the tennis part is getting more importance again. He found his record for the upcoming season. This week he was testing some stringing combinations and after that the material question should be answered. After our tryout in Cyprus, we decided to work together this year. Therefore, Nico Jäger arrived to Vienna and we started our preseason. He is a hard worker and going along with our philosophy and the progress is visible. So he is happy with the new approach for his tennis. Denis Dragomirov was focusing on his fitness part as well. And similar to Sebastian, he slowly expands the tennis units. <laughs> Luckily, his picture when hitting balls is better than seen here. But improvements in his adaption wouldn't harm him as well. Having all the players here during preseason is demanding for my partner Ivan Galic and me. First of all, we have to adapt to the personal needs of the player in this particular stage of their career. On the other hand, we need to consider the personality of the players as well. For example, Yuri and Sebastian are completely different on their mental approach to tennis and practicing. I believe the best outcome is to consider that in our work and not just feeding them balls and playing monotonous exercises and try to kill them physically. But doing this is very demanding and tiring for us as coaches because we have to stay vigilant throughout the whole day. So by the end of the day it is nice to shut down a bit before the next thoughts are coming how to improve certain aspects again and how to make practices more efficient and how to make the plan more reasonable. But I am not complaining about our job. One thing is certain, it will never get boring this way. So I am grateful they have the opportunity to work with these young, ambitious people. To what extent we will be rewarded for our work depends on many factors, but quality will always prevail in the long term. So that's it for this week. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you on the next video.